Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, uh, the big cheese showed up, so, yeah. Alright, let's continue. There's gonna be a cutscene here. Feeble humans, let us give you our power. unable to resist this intoxicating power. Hey. Hey, wake up. Ay-ay-ay. Uh, Crawl out of one hole? And into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Want to start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. <laughs> And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not bad. Do something, cop! After you! I now! It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Yep. Okay, so... Uh, I think that's everything to loot here. Just checking around the corners, making sure. Alright, moving on. Over here, stranger. Oh boy, is that the candy man? <laughs> Alright, pick up this rifle ammo. And of course I'm going to save, because why not? Just to be on the safe side. Okay, so there's a couple of stuff back here. Um, and that's it for this side. So now we move on over to here, to the merchant. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of. Uh, don't know if you noticed, stranger, but did you see the blue medallions hanging around the village? Come back after you shot ten or more. 
of them. I've got a specialized gun. I want you to try it. What are you selling? All right, so we're gonna sell uh, Is that some all nails, ah. <laughs> pearl pendant. What are you buying? So he has the medium case. He also has the treasure map, which we don't need. He has the rifle. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Let's go ahead and upgrade our case a little bit, and let's go ahead and buy the right. I also gotta make space for this stuff, cause you guys had, you guys know how my inventory space was in the uh, normal difficulty playthrough. Now <laughs> we're doing this very professional. So. In there. <laughs> Thank you. I could buy the TMP. Do I have enough to fit it in there? Yeah, I do. Hmm. Honestly, eh, we're not gonna need it for now. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna save it here for. What are you buying? And as you can see, he has the upgrades for the weapons, but we're not gonna really need them because obviously we're gonna be using the the best weapons in the game afterwards, so there should be some barrels back here. Got red herbs, some money. So now just put that down there. Alright, so uh, hmm. how do I want to tackle this is the question. There is a cheap way on how to do this, but it requires for me to go up there. So it's like, yikes. Uh, there's also some guys up there, I believe, as well. Hmm. I mean, I would want to stay back up there like I did in the normal difficulty playthrough. But I just need a fucking haul ass to it is the thing so. okay I need this guy to point for me oh yes terrible aim I actually got very lucky oh shit I got very lucky on that. Just take it all and go. That's how I'm going to do this. I could try to do that strategy with the the ladder. I'm gonna Yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. Fuck it. We'll do it. I saw it on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna load the 
So I'm gonna grab this uh, barrel up here. Uh, we might as well heal up. Uh, fuck it. Uh, let's go and use the mag. Why not? Just might as well. Oh, man, here comes the next uh, wave of enemies here. So this is how you basically save up your ammo stuff like that. So this is all you do. <laughs> yep, cheap bullshit. Might as well. If professional is going to be cheap, might as well myself be cheap. gonna stay back here where they can't hurt me. <laughs> Dumbasses. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Really? Really, dude? Okay, dude. Listen. Just seeing them fail and trying so hard, it's just, it's funny. Was that a flash grenade? What is that? the the next wave of enemies here. Okay, I think that was his only hatchet. Yep. Okay. So if professional is gonna be cheap, I might as well be cheap myself, right? This is all you do. So this might take a little while. <laughs> I'll probably fast forward all this bullshit in my editing. There should be still more enemies. Hmm. 
You can also hide in in there inside the house as well. That works as well. Okay, so we need to go up there. That's our I'm pretty sure that's everybody, but I'm pretty sure that's everybody. Alright, so we might as well continue forward. Oh, nope, that's not all of them. I thought it was, but I guess not. Holy shit. <laughs> Are you the one? Drop some money, however. There we go, that's what I need. Okay, so I think that's everybody in the area. So, just pick up our pieces. Pick up a rifle ammo that's down there. And I'm gonna go around the back here. here. But yeah, that, that's how you basically do that part. Uh, so I will uh, try to fast forward a little bit so it doesn't make it boring for you guys. Or I'll just uh, uh, put a timestamp to like skip it, you know what I mean? So you guys don't have to watch all the fucking bullshit. Uh, okay. I think that's everything to loot up here. So then we gotta go up into that house and then down oh yeah I forgot about the okay, I might as well kick that fuck that <laughs> fuck that ladder alright might as well go in here what the fuck cause there should be some shotgun shells unless if I already picked them up yeah so now we got this whole area to ourselves we don't gotta worry about anything Yep, that's uh, pretty convenient. So hey, basically, go go up here, come over here. There's gonna be a guy with dynamite and a hatchet guy. Just take care of the dynamite guy, move up, and then uh, from there, just uh, just alert the enemies one by one by one. And, yeah, that's that's pretty much how you do that part. What does that lead up there? See, here's where I wanted to check out what was up here. It's just a little guard post, I guess. Moving along. It won't open, so we gotta combine those two pieces to make one. Should be 
something back here. Some money. How much money do we have? A decent amount. We are going to need the TMP, though, next chapter for sure. Here. How much healing do I have? I think I have like a, a decent amount of healing here. I might as well lure him one by one by one. So <laughs> Just steps to the side, imagine. Yep, your fault, dumbass. You came in here, not me. Well, I lured you in here, but yeah, that's, that's a little different. Let me just see if I'm still recording. Yep. Okay, we're chilling. Ah, Pitchfork guy, my favorite. Unless if... Most of these guys like to sprint, by the way, so... Waiting for this guy. Yep, I saw another guy throwing hatchets nearby. He's like right outside the door, I can hear him. Okay, moving along. So that was the, the hatchet guy that was there. Uh, Alright, so now we break this. Grab the elegant mask. up so yeah that was the hatchet guy that he heard me with that other guy over here so and there should be one more guy this guy's just gonna point okay thank god he didn't fall down there because i kind of would have been low-key pissed not gonna lie but it's fine all right so he didn't drop anything so, we're just gonna collect all the loot that's down here. There should be some some money back here and stuff. Okay, so we are almost done with this chapter. Uh, like I said, I'll uh, fast forward that 
annoying part. Okay, well, that's fine. I almost touched the fucking trap, too. That's, that's, Jesus Christ. How much hanging ammo do I have? Pretty decent amount. Alright, so same puzzle as before in the, uh, that area. Yep. And, uh, in this house. There should be a snake. Barrels, I guess not. Shit. Alright. Well, shoot that. And now we are. We're almost done with this chapter. Like, literally, we're right here. So. Alright. It looks like a large crystal ball. Yep. It's up and left. And boom. Open the door. And we're here. Alright. Take the money that's inside here. Grab the handgun ammo that's in there. Grab the insignia key. And go through the door. You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood. And that's in the end of the chapter. So next time on Resident Evil 4, we will now go to the cemetery. So, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace.